And now let's look at another arithmetic sequence. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. It is quite obvious that these are the odd numbers. Odd numbers. So this is the first term. The first term is 1. Second term is 3. The third term, 5, 7, 9, and so on. And naturally, it is quite easy to predict the next number. So the next one will be 11. The seventh, seventh one will be 13, and so on. But it will be quite difficult to find the 100th number or the nth number because we need to find the relationship between the term number and the number itself. So how can we find the relationship between these two columns of numbers? On the left hand side, these are the natural numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. On the right hand side, you have the odd numbers 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 and so on. So actually it's quite difficult because the difference between the natural numbers is just one. They all differ by one only. But on the right hand side, the numbers are different by two. The difference between successive numbers are two. So this difference is just not the same. So how can we make it to become the same? They have the same difference. So we can do something like, let's say, why not we multiply? We multiply the numbers by a factor of two, the term number. So if we multiply each number by two, we get two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, and so on. And now this column is the number of terms multiplied by two. And now can you find the relationship between the green numbers and the column on the right hand side? Two, one, four, three, six, five, eight, seven, ten, nine, twelve, eleven, fourteen, thirteen. So if we again subtract one from the second column, we will get the number on the right hand side. We will simply subtract one. So this will be 10 times 2 minus 1. 1, 3, 6 minus 1, 5, 8 minus 1, 7. So if this is 100, then we multiply this 100 by 2 and then subtract 1. This will be 199. That is the number should be 199 in the 100th number. So what about the f number? The general term, the f number. So we simply multiply this by 2 and subtract this by 1. Therefore, the general term is 2n minus 1. So how can we make use of the general term 2n minus 1? Let's say if I want to find the 50th number. We simply substitute 50 into the general term, which is 2 times 50 minus 1. And this gives 99. 